Hello everybody and welcome back to the OWASP Top 10 training series. Today we're going to install OWASP Juice Shop using both Heroku and Docker. This is the last step in our OWASP Top 10 lab setup. After this tutorial, we will start practicing the exploitation of the OWASP Top 10 vulnerabilities. If you haven't been following along from the beginning, it's not too late. All you have to do is follow the instructions on the OWASP Zap or Burp Suite setup blog posts, then install OWASP WebGoat and WebWolf. I'll have that linked in the description box. Or if you prefer videos, I created the OWASP Top 10 video training series playlist just for you. Now, the first question is, why practicing OWASP Top 10 training on OWASP Juice Shop? Well, I've chosen to add it in this lab so that we can experiment with attacking Node.js backend targets with AngularJS frontend. So it's a great target to hone your skills, whether you are a beginner or an experienced pen tester. This is a deliberately vulnerable web application. I strongly discourage running it on your host machine. For this reason, I'm going to continue working on my Debian 9 VM. There is also a video where I explain how to set it up. Heroku is a cloud platform as a service supporting several programming languages. This means that you can deploy your own code directly on the cloud and have a public link that you can visit from your web browser. This is very convenient because it lets you deploy Juice Shop without any local setup. First, we need to have a Heroku account, which is free. Just go to the sign up page and register a new account. Then we will go to the OWASP Juice Shop GitHub page and scroll down until you see the Heroku Deploy button. Give your app a unique name and click on Deploy App button. As you can see here, after a while we will have a brand new OWASP Juice Shop instance up and running. Now using Heroku is good, but if you'd like to reduce network latency or, or even not depend on the internet at all, working locally would be the way to go. We are going to use Docker to avoid installing all the dependencies. If you don't have Docker installed yet, you can install it using the instructions that are linked to the video up here. Now we're going to connect to our Debian VM that we created earlier and we're going to just download and run OS Juice Shop using Docker. Now we'll go to our IP address of the VM and the port number. And we should see the same page as we saw earlier with Heroku. Congratulations, you finished setting up the lab for the OWASP Top 10 training. In the next episode, we're going to finally start exploiting our first vulnerability. Stay tuned. If you enjoy the video, like it and leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.